What is up YouTube? My name is Matt Wasik and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm a 26 year old digital marketing entrepreneur. My first business was a lawn care landscapes and removal company. Started that back in 2011, scaled to multiple six figures in revenue over the course of about five years before selling. And now what I'm doing is building my digital marketing agency from where it's at and I'm documenting the whole journey here on YouTube to scaling it up to multiple five figures in monthly revenue. So if you like videos like that and like to see the inner workings of building a marketing agency and doing SEO for clients, email marketing management for clients, paid traffic for clients, and a little bit of web design as well, and also how I'm getting those clients and all the stuff that goes in uh, with running this type of business, be sure to go down below and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And that way you'll get all the notifications on when the newest content comes out here on my channel. So what I wanted to talk about today is how I had gotten started initially, this is a couple of years ago with online marketing and digital products in particular with using an Instagram page to do a shout out, if you will, using an Instagram influencer within the niche that I was working at this point in time and basically got a 20x return on my money. So, or on my investment, I should say. So in a minute, we're gonna hop in my computer, which is right there. And I see that my light is sh showing up right there in the screen, but we're working on it. We're trying to get better angles and trying to make things look better and up the quality every single video. So, so let's hop in my computer and let's break this all down. computer now before we get into how i generated this crazy roi with youtube or not youtube instagram influencers i want to go i want to give you a little bit of a backstory on how i went out and did this because the products i was selling through this influencer was not your typical internet marketing digital info product it was related to my first business which was the lawn care landscape snow removal basically uh going back to early 2015 so almost three years ago it was winter time and with that type of business there's usually a fair amount of downtime between like december and march or so whenever the ground thaws and so unless it, when there's snow to plow but basically there's one day i happened to be scrolling through youtube and i came across this video because of the thumbnail it was like a lamborghini coming out of a semi being lowered down and delivered and it was uh this video called buying a lamborghini gardo my documentary by peter Beatty. i actually have talked to him a few times cool guy but basically i watched this video in its entirety 35 minutes long seriously long video it's actually really really good and being as someone that is loved exotic cars since i was a little kid and i wanted one my whole entire life after i first saw one and i plan to own one in the near future but i saw it and i'm like okay i need to figure out a way to get into a similar position as this guy because he's obviously making the money to be able to afford this car so he had other videos on his channel talking about digital products and creating them and selling them and all that type of stuff he was back at that point in time he was doing a lot of sales with um info products and small softwares on jvzoo if you ever heard of that it's like a big internet marketplace kind of like clickbank sort of but basically i saw that and he had an idea of where he kind of described just a really simple business model of taking information with a business that you have and doing like a how-to guide and then having an upsell to maximize the cart value of everyone purchasing so anyway it took me like six months to write my first product which was a book called the rookie's guide to let's see where did i put it there it is all right so yeah just my very it took me like six months to write this ugly 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 book but basically it was a super, super in-depth guide of how to start your own lawn care business. And then eventually two months later, wrote one on starting a landscape. And then a month after that one, how to start a snow removal business. Cause each one of those sectors is a little bit different. And uh, the way you get your customers and the way you manage are, are a little bit different. So did different products. And then also the upsell from each one of these books, which by the way, are not available anymore. I took the websites down. I don't use them. I only use one website to sell the document packages. I have a video I'll link below to it where it goes really in depth with basically how that earns me passive income every single month because it just kind of runs on its own and the traffic is organic to it but it's not really a whole lot of money that comes in but it's still uh, kind of cool to say that it just runs on its own so anyway wrote this book at this point in time reading and learning from like pat flynn and just discovering internet marketing as a whole and kind of diving i'm like okay this is something new i like learning it this is awesome learning way too much stuff and took way too much time to write this book because six months and it was like 160 pages and needless to say what i sold it for was 
it was worth 10 times the value, uh, in my opinion, because I literally put everything I knew about my business and everything I learned in horticulture school into this book and then the other two after it. And I, got, I wrote it and then I get to the point where it's like, okay, how do I sell this thing? What I, do, I didn't know anyone paid traffic at this point in time. I spent like 75 bucks on Facebook ads, got like 150 clicks and it yielded nothing in sales. And my sales page was just terrible. It didn't have a video. It had, had no, like, no following built. I didn't know what building an email list was at that point in time. I didn't know anything. Made a huge mistake in doing, putting this product out there and creating it before building up an audience that could actually buy it. So if you're looking to create any product or start any business online, build a list of people that would potentially be interested in the product. That's exactly what I'm doing with this particular uh, Instagram page that I created here about a month ago. Basically, the exact same thing as what the influencer was that I used for this particular uh, thing. I don't mean to get off track, but basically this runs people to an opt-in page and then they opt into my email list and the value. We try to get them to be converted into clients or marketing services. This is one sector of my marketing business. But if you are doing that, you definitely need to start building up a list of people that would be interested in your product. But anyways, what I did though is find this page called Landscapers of Instagram at the point in time. And this page is totally dead now. I don't know what, what happened. It's not really used anymore. I don't advertise on it anymore. But I reached out to them. I was following them at the time and it was like 20,000 followers. But I said, hey, I have a product that you're following. I'd probably be interested in it. It's a guide exactly on what these people want to know. Because a lot of them are prospective business owners. Some are current business owners that want to learn how to grow their business. And the book kind of covered all that. So reached out. He offered a just smoking deal of like 10 bucks per shout out post. Super, super, super cheap. And I did it three times in the month of September. And we'll get into the numbers here in a second. But basically, it did pretty good right away. Just really bad ad copy. The guy that owned the page didn't even put the link to my page in his bio, which I'm not sure if that's customary for uh, influencers to do. I don't do a lot of influencer marketing. However, it still did pretty good just considering how much I had to spend. And we'll get into the numbers like I mentioned. But just terrible terrible copy terrible ad quality like this was the other end and this is as you can see back september 19th 2015 long time ago and just really bad ad copy and it i and also the other thing i had to deal with was because these particular owners in these industries like i've mentioned in other videos are really passionate about what they do so you have to deal with a lot of hate and just ignorant stupid stuff from people like this guy saying oh it's not even worth it so many companies real money whatever just not very smart people you have to deal with on occasion. So you can get that anywhere online. But anyway, I continued advertising on here to about a total of 11 times. And here were the results from it. So in the month of September, I did three shout outs. Let's do the math though on this. So this first month I did uh, three shout outs for 10 bucks a piece, so 30 bucks, and then $699 in sales. Well, let's see, let's take out the fees at 25 bucks. So minus 26 bucks. 673 divide that by 30 bucks 22 x roi on ad spend pretty dang good considering it was written a direct link straight to a really bad sales page and it had converted sales not bad in my opinion so then moving forward i did a few more posts eight in total through the end of the year and keep in mind at this time i had no idea what i was doing i was just trying to get some sales i didn't really know the 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 actual task of building a list and, and knowing LTV and all this stuff that actually matters when it comes to building an online business. And I didn't know anything about scaling either. So then fast forward to through the end of the year, did about 1500 in sales. Uh, let's see, let's take out the PayPal fees, which is about 70 bucks in fees. So leave with, left with 1436 bucks in sales. Now, again, this isn't setting the world on fire by any means. I know people that make 20 times that every single day with their paid traffic and knowing how to scale the business and all their numbers. But anyways, divide that by 80 bucks equals almost an 18x ROI on my money. Still pretty good. And obviously this was really, really, really small scaled. And in the year 2016, I moved away from the books and all that type of stuff and, and got more into getting clients for marketing services and all that. And then actually this page like had some issue. I think it got hacked or something. I don't know what the deal was, but I couldn't advertise on the page anymore. So it kind of went away. There went my stream of income for this business with the exception of the really small YouTube following I'd built up, which is really all the traffic that this site gets. So anyways, 
long story short, if you were to go out there, you can certainly replicate this in any industry. You could go and do this for truck parts, or you could do it for, for example, like a motocross page. If you have a t-shirt that's relevant to it, that people are going to really resonate with and like, there are pages out there with hundreds of thousands of followers. You go out and get a ton of people to either one, at least view your page. So that way you can hit them re with retargeting with either Facebook or GDN or YouTube ads, or you can get as many sales as you can, maximize it as best you can. So anyways, that's kind of my experience with Instagram influencer posts and paying for shout outs and all that type of stuff. It was not for a Shopify store, but there are other different niches that this can certainly be replicated in like vehicles because people are really, really passionate about vehicles and modifying them, whether it's say, for example, like trucks, like on this page, see a lot of people are really passionate about their trucks. So if you were someone who was an affiliate for any product, honestly, out there, or like say you own a specific light brand to get LED lights in 2010 through 2012 Ford trucks or whatever the case may be, go and reach out to these companies and you can certainly get a good ROI. And if anything, you at least build up your retargeting, you get some good data and all that type of cool stuff for a relatively low cost. So that is my experience with Instagram influencers. If you like this video, be sure to smash the like button. And if you want to get more content like this and stay up to date with my journey of building my marketing agency and scaling it up and doing all the fun stuff that goes along with it, hit the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell down below so that way you know when all the videos are uploaded here to the channel. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.